ever heard about LibreOffice breaking your two chain for since since for a long time. So I forgot to put the proper date on the slide. So the first thing we break is Android. Have you heard from Tor that Android is the new Windows? So the first problem is that GDP has exactly the same problems on Android today, but used to be true on, on normal PC as well. Uh, like um, if you would like to put a breakpoint in a function that's in a shared library that's not like yet loaded, then you can do that. So you have to. This is this is just these are just quotes from readme files. So you need to carry for the guess where to put the breakpoint, and once you guessed where the bug is, you can put the breakpoint there to fix the bug. Uh, maybe maybe there is some some logical loop there. Um, and is this actually still true or, or solved today? Uh, it's not yet solved. Yeah. yeah totally true. So this is this is still true. Uh, the other one is when, when the Android linker breaks. Uh, and the solution for this is that somehow just the, the code output changed enough so that it no longer happens. So the Tinder is just uh, just triggered itself with, with you know, waiting for in that time. So it's some internal error in the Gold linker. But of course, not, not only Android is broken, uh, so is MSVC, the Microsoft compiler. So this is the output from the compiler for the fourth version of Candy's Reward uh, Writer Filter Map Free Switch Cases. Um, I guess initially it wasn't switch case, but it was instead some, some uh, huge list of conditions. And if you have enough nasty conditions, then GCC and Clang is happy, but not the Microsoft compiler. Uh, you don't have to use too much nasty. If you use a code generator, then it's easy to do uh, nasty with something like uh, 200 levels and then the Microsoft compiler will already break. So let's break Clang. <laughs> um, how about this workaround for, for iOS where in the middle of the writer layout rendering if you are doing an optimized build then we have to call this dummy function where we query the process ID of the current application and if we do nothing with it, the writer layout gets fixed. Sadly, <laughs> sadly, Apple's uh, Clang version is not open source as far as I know, so this is something we can just work around. The good thing is that for GCC, we can report bugs, so it's really interesting if you start to search for LibreOffice class names in the GCC bug tracker, there are many hits there. <laughs> so, um, one example is when um, we have a UNO uh, reference and you would like to just cast it to the uh, real implementation to do something there. And uh, one GCC bug was that if you just did the, uh, the downcast to the, um, to the base cast directly, then it returned a null. But if you did it in two steps, then it worked. So uh, this is something that doesn't happen with today's GCC, so this got fixed. And also this is just one more example when, when um, uh, we had some problems and uh, so the GCC guys managed to, to fix it or at least they, they took part in the process. So at least today's GCC doesn't have the problem. Um, I guess that's it. In case you have any questions, no, then I'm safe. Thanks for listening. <laughs>